Yo, what up, everybody? Cardboard Moses with you. Welcome. Time to go ahead and start 2018-19 Panini NBA Hoops Basketball. 10 box half case break number one. First product with the new rookies in their NBA uniforms. Hashtag, that's nice. All right, it, it, exactly, exact, yeah, something like that, Empire, something like that. Um... Hold up, wait a minute. All right, I gotta take it out of the closet. Boom. What's up, Christopher? Thank you for stopping by and saying hi, man. Thank you. Sweet dreams. Oh, boy. NBA Hoops got my boy Trey Young on the cover. And he's been balling the last week or so. A lot of good rookies this year. All right, there we have one, two, three, four, five, ten. This one here. All righty. David Diaz, good luck, my man. And uh, good luck, everyone else in this stuff. All right, here we go. Somebody knocking on the door? Give me a second. I could have sworn I heard a knock on the door. Okie dokie. That was the mailman. <sighs> well, Christopher, you know what uh, I can say to that is go to our website, ripcitycars.com. You will find that our prices are actually probably better than what you would get it on eBay, quite honestly. Because uh, we do offer free shipping around the world. Something we cannot do on eBay. Jersey G man, how are you? Now that was the mailman. Picking up the stuff to shit to send you know, send to you guys. Which I'm sure you want. Uh, yes, Jersey G Man. I only have three eBay breaks today, though. I have this break, which is probably going to take me some time. Then I have Phoenix Football number eight. And then I have Gold Label Baseball number 11. It's 
Speaking of baseball, game two of the World Series tonight. Red Sox got a one uh, one game lead. What's up, Mason D? Over on Breakers, how are you? Marcus, what's going on? Over on YouTube, what up? Man. Packs galore in this stuff. Alright, let's see what we got here. Good luck, peeps. Alright, let me angle this so it's a little bit better for me. That'll work. Alright, so that this would be considered the veteran base. And here come the rookies. Aaron Halliday, uh, Omari Spellman. A hot signature for JP Makura of the Hornets. As soon as I'm done with the eBay breaks, Marcus. As soon as I'm done with the eBay breaks. Nice, simple design. Okay, I could dig it. Ray Allen for the Heat. Just an insert. Insert there for uh, Gilgis Alexander, the greatest of all time, AI. Uh, yeah, Michael, we do have uh, hoops in the store. Check it out, man. RipCityCars.com. Uh, we put them in as half cases with uh, with a hundred dollars uh, hitless uh, giveaway. This is numbered. No, but it's like a purple variation of some sort Gary P an insert for the I'll go to the Thunder I like the simple design of them Dante DiVincenzo to uh, 199 for the Bucks nice to see D Wade in the heat uniform again even though he's gonna retire <laughs> I'm not too happy about that. Got some rooks there. This is the first look at the uh, new rookies in their NBA uniform. Anthony Davis to 2018 for the Pelicans. Wow, really? To 2018. So Westbrook of the Thunder, cool looking card. That insert. The Catman insert. Just separating the veteran base. From everything else, Oladipo to 2018 for the Pacers makes my uh, sorter's life a little bit easier, which therefore makes my life easier. Right, these are numbered, but I do believe they're like the purple purple variations or something. It's a cool looking insert for Cavaliers. LeBron James. The Lakers have yet to win a game this season. Dude, if I'm the Lakers, man, I'm pushing that panic button. If I'm Magic Johnson, I'm on the phones trying to make a move ASAP. Because if things continue, man, they, they're seriously not going to make the playoffs. The way they are right now, they are not making the playoffs. The uh, courtside insert there for Giannis, cool looking. I like the cars; they're they're nice. 
then again I am a fan of the uh, simple designs and so the inserts are cool the action shots courtside inserts are nice that's a, that's a Miami boy right there went to the U hope he balls out with uh, San Antonio Zach Levine of the Bulls to 189. Right, where's that other autograph going to come from? Dot is the question. Draymond Green, 99 Warriors. It's got to be in this deck. The picture perfect. Carl Anthony Towns insert. Timberwolves. Cool looking. I also like that they sprinkle in some of the legends. Everything ships in this stuff, by the way. The archaeologist. Okay, that's kind of cool. For the for the shooters, the three point shooters. I'm assuming that's the autograph there. For the Jazz, Andre Kirilenko, AK-47. Give you a rookie and then a veteran. Nice. It's a nice looking card. Yeah, Michael, there. I'm, I'm trying my best, dude, but uh, I am only human. And, you know, and there's only so much I can do with, uh, with what I got. All right, let's keep it going. Thank you for bringing it up, though. I'm, I'm glad somebody said something in the chat. So now I can uh, try to be mindful of it. Thank you, Eisenhower. What's up, Hatcher? Over on Breakers, how are you? So, okay, so this, this break is going to take me a lot longer than I thought it would. I'm not even going to lie. A lot of packs in this stuff. Uh, yes, Smokey. I will be working on whatever is closest to filling. I want to get at least, at least, three cases of hoops done and three cases of archives. Which I think is extremely possible. So let's get that done. And by the way, you know, we, we also already have Prism Football listed in the store as well. Prism Football comes out Friday. It's already in the store today. So let's get that popping. Uh, Jason, this is eBay, dude. And you can tell the difference because if it's an eBay break, it'll, you know, oh, well, shame on me there, right? If it's an eBay break, it'll tell you on the screen, like so. It says eBay right there where my finger's at. We always put the titles up on the screen. At least I do, anyway. And then if it's a store break, you'll see a whole team list with uh, the owner of that team on the screen. So that's another way to differentiate an eBay break from a store break. In the store breaks, we put up the, the list with the names and the teams. In an eBay break, we just put the title up on the screen. Anyways, let's keep it going here. There you go, Fabrice. That's what I'm talking about. It's a, it's a shame that you uh, have to go to sleep 
uh, soon for Brees. Do would like to you know chat a little bit with my boy from France. Chris Paul Rockets insert. I don't know about the Sandlot situation. One thing I do know though is that's pretty freaking cool. And I'm sure that a lot of collectors would like to get their hands on uh, some of those uh, Sandlots. Ben Simmons, 2018 Sixers. Like, not for nothing, if I could get Smalls, I'm cool with Smalls. Oh, Dominique. That's a cool looking insert, man. Hold on. This does not belong. Luca, that's gonna be a big one to look for. Him and Trey Young have been balling. A lot of rookies balling. Bamba ain't and doing their thing. Which is very nice to see. Wanna see the rooks be successful. Well, Smokey, I ain't, I ain't say all that. I didn't say all that. Highlights, cool looking card. Backstage pass for Boom Kyrie Irving. Uh oh, got a hot signature for the Lakers, Eldon Campbell. By the way, there are Kobe Bryant autographs in this set. Just saying. Uh, John, I don't know what you mean by that, but if you're asking for a for a uh, for Phoenix football number eight of eBay, that is next. That's after this. Um. But it's going to be a while, brother. Whole lot of uh, packs to go through in this. Uh, Allen Iverson of the Sixers, 299. That's a sweet looking insert. Dude, I would love to hit a Kobe. That would be a nice way to, to get the day started. What's up, Gregory? I'm doing well. How are you? Mark Price, man, one of the most underrated players ever. The Mavericks, Jalen Brunson, the rookie autograph. Not the Maverick they probably wanted, but at least they got one. I really like the action shot inserts. Those are really cool. Bill Russell. LeBron James, the 2018 Cavs insert. The Amplifiers. That's a cool looking insert. Nice. I like that. Man, I need that D Wade. I need that D Wade jersey, man. Nikola Meritich, 189 for the Pelicans. If Michael Porter Jr. can get back to, to health, he can be big time for the Nuggets. Pretty nasty injury in college. Clay Thompson of the Warriors to four ninety nine. Mo Bamba. Magic off to a nice start so far this year. 
The picture perfect, Devin Booker Songs. Colin Sexton, he's going to be real good. Malcolm, uh, Malcolm Brogdon to 199 bucks. All right, that's two boxes down. Call me blowing up my phone. Yeah, buddy. Trey Young ought to always be those. Well, Michael, you know I'm down, dude. As long as we're filling breaks, I am so down. You know, I just don't like, not for nothing, I enjoy the time we spend together. You know, we can, you know, talk sports and, and so on and so forth. I just don't like sitting, sitting down for hours, man, trying to get breaks filled. You know? I can't wait till I'm uh, I'm at the point where I come in and I already have four or five breaks already filled, without me even having to run a filler. You know that's that's the day I'm looking forward to, where this thing is just a a, a self-sustaining machine, if you will, where breaks fill quickly. You know, and if I do have to put a filler together. It's not, it's not going to take two and a half hours to fill. More like 15 minutes. Tops. Boom. 100, 100, 200 people watching. I, I know we're going to get there. It's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of grinding. But that's what I'm doing, baby. But that, that is my ultimate goal. Is to run as little fillers as possible. And have breaks filled before I even go live. It's, it's happened a few times. But I, I would like to be more consistent with that. In, in due time. In due time. Tip-offs. All right. So these need to be random. There's two teams on there, Rockets, Mavericks. It's a good thing I caught that. Now, if we have, like, any duplicates and stuff like that, I, mean, I have no problem uh, splitting them up. But let's see, uh, let's see what happens here. It looks decent there as far as glare is concerned. Uh, Pelicans Anthony Davis to 2018. Don't see too much glare on there. All right, I think we're good. Wiggins overrated self for the Timberwolves. Can't believe they paid that kid all that money. 
and he's still like above average but they're paying him max money come on now for the Bulls Chandler Hutchinson the rookie ink Michael there you go that's that's what it's about you know you don't necessarily have to spend money every single day you know I'm not asking people to spend thousands of dollars every day although that would be lovely you know who am I kidding but yeah dude you, you, even if you're, if you're not gonna buy in you know stop by hang out you know support the channel by, by keeping the chat rolling engaging in conversation you know what I mean there is absolutely no reason why there are like 30 people watching and only like five chatting like come on and you know even you know I'm not saying okay you got to be consistent like constantly chatting you know and, you know say hey stop and say hey uncle Jesse what's up boom 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 quick little exchange and boom that's it I don't have to hear from you again but at least you came by you said what's up you know that would that would that that would make my day anyway will Barton 189 nuggets On a depot twenty eighteen Pacers. Highlights are kind of cool. It'd be nice if they just had them all facing one direction, but I guess you got to put me to work somehow. Everything ships in this, man. Uh, for future reference, guys, everything ships in our eBay breaks. Dante Exum to 199 Jazz. I repeat, everything ships in our eBay breaks. So, no worries there. I think I should be getting one more autograph. James Harden, 2018 Rockets. There you go, Smokey. Exactly, man. Just stay up in the chat, talk to the peeps. Oh, you know, have a good time. Ish Smith of the Pistons. The auto I will say the autographs are very nice looking. I, I, I do like them. They are sweet. Definitely worth putting up with all this base. The autographs are super nice. Yes, they're sticker autographs. But if you can put that aside, I mean, look, these are the first autographs of the 2018-19 rookie class with their NBA uniforms on. So, good value to be had at a good price. And the cards are nice looking, man. Karuk's doing okay for the Nets. You're a Nets fan, G-Man? How's Jared Allen doing? I really like Jared Allen. He was, dude, he was killing the heat last year. The Nets in general were killing the heat last year. Exactly, Jim, exactly. You know, the, the, old, the old saying is true. You, you get what you pay for. You know, if you're paying $64 a box... You know, can't be can't can't really be uh can't really be expecting on Cardados.
James Harden 2018 Rockets. I can't help but go through that war pack. What, Fabrice? You got yourself an error card? Dude, uh, not for nothing, but that might be worth some money. Not that I know, but, you know, that could be worth some money, Fabrice. Oh, dude, I would love to get a, what? A, a one-on-one Rondo knuckle sandwich to Chris Paul's face? That would be an awesome card. Dude, I don't know if it brings some of the, some error cards in general sell for decent coin. Of course, it depends on the player, the team, a lot of factors. So maybe a you know a Marlins, Lewis, Brinson, Merrifield, you know, air printing error or whatever card is, is probably not going to be worth much, but it might be. I, I don't know. I would say it's worth doing the research. Right. If they're unknown errors, they, they could be worth some money. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It, it might be worth doing a little research for Brees before you, you know, take a dump on it. Halloween is coming up. I think a week from now, actually. The 31st, I think, falls on a Wednesday. You guys doing anything for Halloween? I got invited to, like, this house party. But given that I'm antisocial, and, and I'm just way too old for that. At least I think so. At least just I think so, anyway. I'd much rather go to a bar and hang out there and then go to some stranger's house where I don't want to touch anything because I'm, I'm afraid that I'll break it and then I got to pay for it. I don't know. Just make a conversation while I open up packs. All right. Let's see what I got here. I like these amplifier uh, inserts, they're pretty sweet. If, and if they have them autographed, man. Yeah, there's a strong checklist in this set for uh, given for the price point. Very nice checklist. For the Sonics, Deadlift Shrimp. That, of course, goes to the Thunder. The Hot Signature. Got to random that, the tip off. You know, after I'm done with this, I want to go through the cards real quick and make sure I didn't miss any of those. That's a very nice looking card. Jabari Parker would have been even nicer if he was in his Bulls uniform. But it's numbered 1 of 10. Yes, there's Charles Barkley's auto autographs in this set, Fabrice. There are Charles Barkley autographs. For the Suns and the Sixers, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that he does have Suns autographs. Does he have for both Sixers and Suns? I know he has for the Suns. But I'm not sure if he has them for the Sixers. Oh, so he has them for both. Oh, man. Very nice. Landry, I like Landry Shamet. I don't think they're 
using him as much as they probably should in uh, in Philly, especially since they need shooters. Landry Shamet can shoot the ball. Giannis, 2018 Bucks. just Alexander. He could be nice. Remains to be seen. The greatest of all time. Michael Porter Jr., man. He could be he could be real good. My man uh Damian Lillard dressed up as uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin the other night. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. He didn't he didn't wear the jean shorts though. You, you gotta rock the jean shorts. KD 2018 Warriors. Dame Dalla for the Blazers. I want one of them Rip City jerseys. Lillard going to the Lakers. That would be that would be great. That would be awesome. Him and LeBron would do damage. I like DeMar DeRozan with the Spurs too, man. Finally, he's got a good coach that can teach him how to actually play basketball. Elinari to 99 for the Clippers. And there's a, a Heat rookie. Yante Maten to 25. I don't think he's on the Heat roster anymore, though. He probably, I don't know. I don't think he is. He might be. Tobias Harris, 199 Clippers. Yo, did anybody see Blake Griffin go off the other night? My man went off for 50 points, and he dunked all on Joel Embiid. Which is nice. My boy put up 50 points, man. Heat play tonight. We've been playing down, down two, actually down three players. Two of which uh, have been starters for us at some point. Just as Winslow, he's been down, and he he actually he improved a lot last year. His jumper, especially that corner three, got way better last year. So interesting to see how he progresses in his, uh, well, this would be like his fourth or third season. James Johnson is like a poor man's LeBron with a black belt. That's good news, Smokey. I, I would like to see that thing down to zero. All of them. I want everything at zero. And Dion Waiters, man. Dion Waiters hasn't played for us in like almost two years. Who? James Johnson? Dude, James Johnson is a beast. Jump James Johnson is a is a poor man's LeBron James. What I what I what I what I what I mean by that is he has like the same build, like six eight six nine strong, can get to the bucket. He's got a nice handle. He can shoot the ball. He can defend, uh, you know, pretty much every position. The problem with him is he's kind of a hothead, and, uh, and he does have a bit of an injury bug. 
Yeah, James Johnson is is known around the league as uh, as blood sport. Literally, look it up. Google it. Google. I'm telling you right now. Google James Johnson blood sport. If I'm not mistaken, he is the only NBA player in history to be a professional fight. He's a professional MMA fighter. And he has an undefeated record. The dude don't play. The dude don't play. So not only can he dunk on you, but he'll put them hands on you if you need if you need to. Ah, uh, see, I if I Google Lakers will make the playoffs, it uh, it gives me this error message. So I don't know what you're talking about, Jose. Ooh, I like these backstage passes. My boy Tatum. That's crazy how this dude is in his second year, and he's probably the best player on that Celtics team. Sorry, Kyrie. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Uh, Darius Miller to 99 Pelicans. I am. I am not a Kyrie fan. Ooh, Jamal Mashburn for the Mavericks. Mavericks with a couple autographs. No Luka yet, but that's nice. And Kemba Walker cooked the, the heat the other night, too. Listen, I, I know full well that Miami's going nowhere this year. We're making the playoffs. We're going to advance past the first round. Only to get eliminated by like the Celtics or the Sixers in the second round. I, dude, I, I hell yeah. I think, I think Damian, Damian Lillard is better than Kyrie Irving, in my opinion. Ben Simmons, 2018 Sixers. I think Kyrie is highly overrated. Don't get me wrong. You know, he can he can dribble. You know, he can do everything on the court that you need him to do. It's just mentally. I don't like, I don't like, uh, he, he's just not a leader, man. Oh, but Uncle Jesse, what are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about. Dude, the man will he people forget that he was a franchise player. Uh LeBron James 2018 Cavs. Not yet, Corey. Uh I did hit a Jamal Mashburn. A Deadlift Shrimp. Uh some old school autos there. Andre Karolinko. Uh, but no, no big name rookies yet. But yeah, dude, Kyrie, let, he was the man for the Cavaliers for like six years before LeBron got there or went back. And not once did Kyrie lead those Cavaliers to the playoffs or even above 500 in the East. I mean, come on. Tyler Johnson, 189 Heat. And people want to call him a winner? Really, man? Like, come on. Seriously. I can understand if you like the fancy dribbles and the nice finishes at the rim. Yeah, sure. Who doesn't like that? But to call him a winner? A leader? Yeah. No. He is not. For the Nets, Rio Domes Kuroks. Jersey G-Man's rookie right there. Who's been doing okay? I don't know. I have yet to catch the Nets this season. Jose, dude, I hate to tell you, but the greatest of all time is still Michael Jordan. There is. I, it, I think it's, it's gotten to the point 
where there is nothing LeBron can do to be in that conversation. Like, you can't lose. Uh, how many NBA Finals has he lost now? Like, like six of them or something like that? Bro, you cannot be the greatest of all time and have that many L's at the highest level of competition. Like, you just can't. Like, at least Jordan, when Jordan did his losing, it was in the first round. You know what I'm saying? In his early years. But come on. Tatum, 99 Celtics. The, the man is 6 for 6 in the NBA Finals. Never once made it to a Game 7 in the NBA Finals. Finals MVP every time they won a championship. The man left for like a couple years, came back and won another three championships like it was nothing. Like, come on, bro. There's, officially, there is nothing LeBron can do to be considered the greatest of all time. I'm sorry. He, he just he can't. He just can't. Well, Jose, I, I hear what you're saying. But look at the level of competition Jordan was playing against, too, man. He was going up against Reggie Miller and those Pacers, who were great, too. All right? He was going against those monster Piston teams. The Knicks had really good teams back in the day. Like, not for nothing... But the East was very, very strong during the Jordan era. The Miami Miami Heat had good teams. And LeBron, I mean, uh, Jordan would just shut all that down, man. David, five more. And then look at the teams he beat to win the finals, man. Those Jazz teams with John Stockton and Karl Malone. Gary Payton and Sean Kemp. Charles Barkley, Dennis Johnson. I think he beat Hakeem Olajuwon, too, in the finals once. Nah, you know what, Jose? I'm going to have to shut it down right there. There is no way that this Golden State team would win a single game against the Bulls. Let me ask you a question, Jose. What rules are we playing with? Are we playing, are we playing with 1990s rules? Or are we playing with 2018 rules? Because if we're playing 1990s rules... Dude, Stephen Curry's not making it out of the first quarter. With his soft ass. Dude, there is no way in God's green earth that Golden State would win a single game against those Bulls teams. Not with the not with the dude, and if you even if you were to put today's rules in effect, ha! Huh, you know how many points Jordan would average in today's NBA, bro? Michael Jordan averaged career, lifetime, over 30 points. Bro, LeBron would drop, I mean, Jordan would drop 50 easy. Easy a game. On a, on a, on a, on a bad night, he'd put up 50. Bro, there is no way Golden State would beat those Chicago Bulls teams. Never. Never. Yeah, like I'm, 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 I'm old enough to remember seeing Michael Jordan. Like, and mind you, not even in his prime, bro. I remember seeing Jordan in his 30s put up 40, 50 points, it, like nothing, dude. 
even when he was with the Wizards, he put up like 45-something points. Well, Jose, I mean, you, it, that, that was the beauty of that team, those Bulls teams, is that they were teams. You have Michael Jordan, who could, you know, who was unstoppable and could shut down anybody he guarded. They had two stoppers on that team, bro. My, no, they had three stoppers on that team. They had Michael Jordan, who shut down the opposing team's best player. They had uh, Scottie Pippen, who would shut down their second best player. And they had Dennis Rodman, who would gobble up the boards and, and hold it down on the low block. Who does Golden State have? Klay Thompson? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Who's going to guard Jordan? No way KD's guarding Jordan. Bro, KD would get bodied by Jordan. KD couldn't even guard Pippen. People forget that Scottie Pippen was like LeBron James before LeBron James came into the league. Melvin Frazier, rookie auto for the Magic. Not, bro, he he had freaking Steve Kerr. He also had the you know the, the help from the others, as Shaq likes to call them. DeAndre eight into one ninety nine for the uh, for the Suns. He had one of the greatest European players ever. In uh, forget his name, bro. Charles Oakley, Knicks legendary autograph right there. Very nice. I can't remember. Cool coach. Tony Cool coach. There it is. One of the wettest three point shooters. One of the best European players ever, honestly. And that dude was, I think he was coming off the bench. And and I think, he, as a matter of fact, they also had Ron Harper. Ron Harper would shut down any point guard, and he could shoot the three. And if we're playing with today's rules, <laughs> oh, oh my God, dude. Those Bulls teams would put up 150 points easy. 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 It's a, it's a shame that, like, the current generation, like, they don't really, they don't really know how great Michael Jordan truly was like they just have you know people like me and, and the old heads you know gassing up Jordan but dude watching Jordan I I, I, heard, I read a quote uh, DeMar DeRozan 2018 for the Raptors I read a quote once uh, about Michael Jordan that sent goosebumps throughout my body bro the quote and I'm paraphrasing here more or less but uh, th someone was asked a question you know, if aliens were to come to planet Earth and you were given the task to show them, like, the epitome of, of just human athleticism and prowess, you would choose Michael Jordan. Bro, if you think LeBron is athletic and you're amazed at what LeBron does, dude, I'm telling you. Jordan was 10 times that, bro. Bro, LeBron jumps over people. Jordan would jump over and through people. And not only that, but he could actually shoot the ball. And he wasn't afraid to take free throws either. Jalen Brown to 499 for the Celtics. That's my problem with LeBron, man. LeBron physically has all the tools to be the GOAT. It's just mentally, he's just not there, dude. Marc Gasol, 199 Grizzlies. Great player, don't get me wrong. He's probably going to be the second best player of all time when it's all said and done. But to call him the GOAT, no way. No way. No way. Terry Rozier, 2018 Celtics. And you know what really hurts his legacy too? 
is that he had to leave Cleveland to win a championship. You know, that, that's kind of that's, that's going to hurt his legacy a little bit too. I, I do exactly. I don't know, Jose. I, I think I think you need to go back and watch some Jordan highlights, dog. I, I think I think you forget who you're talking about here. We're talking about Michael Jeffrey Jordan. The greatest of all time. I would, dude. I would. I would argue that Kobe, like as of now, I would put the greatest of all time. Obviously, I would put number one Jordan. I would put Kobe number two, and I would put LeBron number three. I'm not even going to mention Wilt the Stilt and freaking Kareem Abdul-Jabbar because those dudes were just, they don't count. They're freaking, they're like mythical, mythical creatures. This is also very true, Jersey G, man. Very true. And he was a marketing machine, too. You know, people forget that up until before Jordan came around, you know, you, it, the image was more or less squeaky clean. You know, you, you couldn't wear, you couldn't wear different color sneakers. Like, you know what I mean? Like, nobody had their own signature brand. And here comes Jordan as a rookie. With his own freaking shoe, which got banned by the league, by the way. And he still rocked them, because Nike paid the freaking fine every time. If that's not balling, I don't know what is. What makes me sad though I feel like I feel like people are gonna forget about Dwayne Wade now I'm not saying he's the greatest of all he's the greatest of all time he's the greatest Miami player ever that's not even up for discussion but it's I feel like uh, I feel like people are just gonna forget about Dwayne Wade man which is really sad because not for nothing, but for like a good, I want to say like a good eight-year stretch, Dwayne Wade was the best basketball player in the world, in my opinion. Like his first eight years in the NBA, bro, D. Wade was the closest thing to Jordan we've ever seen. And yeah, I am I am very biased. I will I will admit I am extremely biased <laughs> as a Heat fan. But man, I'm gonna miss D Wade. Daddy is young to 189 pay, dude. I'm telling you, Jose. I'm telling you, bro. Don't don't sleep on my on my dog D Wade. Got a random map. Uh, 
dude, people forget that Dwayne Wade was winning championships when LeBron couldn't couldn't even get out the first second round. D Wade was was bro. D Wade was freaking. Oh my God, bro, that guy, man, it, like in um, in his first eight years as a as as a pro. His numbers are ridiculous, mind you. Like two of those years, he was out with injuries. LeBron, 2018. Yeah, he had the greatest center of all time. Yeah, sure, whatever. So what? So so you so are you gonna are you gonna do the same thing with Kobe then? Are you gonna give Kobe the same uh, asterisk because he played with Shaq? And arguably had his most successful seasons with Shaq. I mean, seriously, come on. TJ McConnell won 96ers. And even after even after Shaq was gone, he had probably one of the greatest seasons without and he wasn't even considered for a championship because the team was just that bad. And this is uh pretty freaking amazing. Trey Young. Rookie autograph for the Hawks. That's a nice one right there. That's real nice. Boom. Very sweet. That's a big time rookie right there. That kid's been balling. But yeah, I'm very I'm very biased when it comes to, to D Wade. He is my favorite basketball player. Him and Allen Iverson, so at least I can admit that I, I am biased when it comes to them. K D ninety nine Thunder. Like no BS bro. In their primes, I would take D Wade over Kobe LeBron in their prime. But that's just me. He's the greatest shot blocking guard in NBA history. The man averaged like two steals and a block per game for a, for a while there. He could score in his sleep, and he'd put your he put your team in foul trouble because he was not afraid to get to the rim, and he would finish. Oh, uh, dude, Michael, I'm, I'm definitely planning to go to a few games. At the very least, I want to catch one game. You know, there is no way I'm going to miss D. Wade's last season. There's no way. So I, I'll go at some point. I, I want to go, like, probably later on in the season. When, you know, it's closer to, like, playoff time. That way, uh, I don't know, I feel like the, the energy is a lot higher, you know, when, when it's getting closer to playoff time. Check this one out. My real b-ball fans know who this is right here. I'll give you bonus points if you know his, uh, his nickname. Rafer Alston. There you go, Jeffrey. Skip to my Lou. And he used to be a, uh, a, he actually played for the Heat too. Dude, you know what I love about the Heat? I feel like lots of great players have played for the Heat at some point in their careers. Skip to Malou, one of them. Skip to Malou actually played with D-Wade. So did Jay Will. That's my favorite NBA team of all time, the 2006 Miami Heat. Of course, I'm biased. But that was just a, just a ragtag group of, of peeps in that team. And Pat, yeah, and Pat we trust, man. And Pat we trust. That's why I am I, like I'm super confident in the Heat year in and year out because of our front office. Like I know that Pat Riley's gonna at least have us competitive. D Wade 2018 Heat. That's yeah, of course. D uh, yes, yeah, Skip to Malu and one legend, Street Ball legend. 
Did you really, Jose? Nice. What was your What was your nickname? I, I may have seen you, dog. I'm gonna call you out on that one real quick. Dude, I used to love watching street ball back in the day. They used to have like uh, they used to have like a little TV show on ESPN, if I, if I'm not mistaken. Back when the professor was coming up. Ah, Jose, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. It's freaking uh, hot sauce and and, uh, and what's his name? Professors still do stuff every now and then. I got three boxes left. We hit a Trey Young auto. Hey. That'll be good for the gram. Yeah, I, I think uh, Professor goes around dressed up as uh, like Spider-Man or something like that. I don't know if Hot Sauce played in the NBA. That would have been awesome. R.I.P. Escalade. But yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't even know if N one is still like touring and stuff. Man, they used to have some ballers, bro. Bone Collector, Baby Shack. Now it's it's more so about the the big three. I think big three has taken over that and one as the uh, secondary basketball market, if you will. You got the globe trotters, who I would say are, are are like at the bottom. Then you have, then you would have had and one slash big three, and then NBA. Yeah, Professor used to play uh, college ball. Uh, and I think he's from Oregon or something like that. Man, dude, so many hoopers come out of Oregon, man. So many. I think Jamal Crawford is from out there. Exactly. There's nothing else to do in in Oregon. It's raining, so might as well just go to the gym and hoop. these highlights inserts I wonder if they have a monographed we'll find out when we rip some more of this stuff for the stove baby Larry Markin and 199 Bulls I think Gary Payton also played his college ball in Oregon. I think he played for Oregon State. Even though he's from the Bay Area. But if I'm not mistaken, I think GP played college ball in Oregon State. Draymond Green, 2018 Warriors. Man, they really need to bring back the Sonics, man. Those jerseys were so dope. And the fans, bro, the fans are amazing.
even when the Sonics sucked, which wasn't very often, they, they were all, almost always competitive, even in the West, don't, bro, not a, not a single seat in the house was not packed. They're going to get a team soon. Hopefully sooner than later. Like, how does the... how? Do, no offense to the people of Utah, but... How does Utah have a team and not, not Seattle? Come on. Bradley Beal, 2018 Wizards. Nah, man. Marcus, uh, spoiler alert, but LeBron James only signs for upper deck products. There's a few players like that. LeBron, Ben Simmons, um, I think Tiger Woods. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Michael Porter Jr., rookie autograph for the Nuggets. I think he could be big time. I like Michael Porter Jr. I think he hurt his back or something like that in college. And that's probably why he fell, uh, free fell at the, uh, at the draft. Otherwise, he was like, man, lottery ticket, uh, lottery town. Got a random that. Yeah, Kobe does have autographs in this. Yes, sir. I think Magic does too. Dude, if Magic didn't retire early, he probably could have gone down as the greatest of all time. Sam Bowie, Blazers legend. There you go. The hot signatures. Tony Parker in a Hornets uniform is just weird. The 25 right there. He should just retire, like for real. I ain't mad at him though. Get that paycheck if, these, if they're willing to pay you. Why not? Pay you a few million dollars to just sit on the bench, talk to the rookies every now and then, sure. Pelicans 2018, J. Holiday. We still got two boxes to go. Two more after this, Jose. This one has just taken a, a long time.
How's the store looking? What's well, close to Philly? Uh, let me double check for you, G-Man. Well, there's a a Kuroks Nets autograph there. A Yante Maten for the Heat. Nothing for the Clippers yet, though. The nicest card I ever pulled. That's a tough one. There's, there's been a few. Uh, I've had my fair share of one-on-ones, man. But I'm biased on these. So I would have to say... Man, I, there, there's been a few. I mean, there's been a few. I pulled the Lionel Messi one-on-one autograph. That was pretty insane. Uh, but for me, I believe it was out of Immaculate Basketball, like a year or two ago. It was, or like three years ago or something like that. It was a rookie Ingram. It was a triple autograph. It was numbered to like 10 or something. But it was Kobe Bryant, Magic Johnson, and Brandon Ingram for the Lakers. All three on one card, and it was ridiculous. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I've hit something sicker than that. It would be on, the, on my Instagram uh page here yeah I did hit that one on one Roger Clemens for you but man I've, I've hit my fair share of one on ones man to be honest this might be probably the greatest hit I've ever had uh, check this out that is a one of one legendary cup booklet out of 2016 NT baseball Joe DiMaggio, a cut signature with a with a the, the bat relic there. That might be one of the sickest uh, hits I've ever had right there. That Joe DiMaggio, pretty sick. I hit this one of one uh, Darth Vader as well. The uh, not the voice actor for Vader, but I think it was like his body double or something like that. Still pretty sweet. That was pretty awesome. But yeah, man, I've, I've, I've hit some pretty sweet ones. A Tom Brady autograph. I've, you know, Otani 101s. Like, dude, I've, I've, I've been, I've been lucky, man. I've hit some pretty sweet cards in my time. And I will continue to hit even nicer cards in the future um, but anyways let's keep it moving there you go Jersey Demon we still got two boxes left so let's see if we can get something for the Clippers for you I do not collect Jose I do not collect but sometimes, you know, customers will, like, give me cards. They'll, like, let me keep a card or something because they know I'm a huge Heat fan and Dolphin fan. So I, I have cards that customers have sent me that, uh, that I have in my collection. But I personally have not gone out and, like, bought any cards or, or anything like that. But you know, what one of my uh, one of my customers actually gave me an autographed Dwayne Wade card, which is insane. Jason Tatum, 99 Celtics. My boy Tomas, uh, he well he gave me a card too. He gave me one of my favorite players, uh, Carlos Valderrama, a uh, Colombian uh, national footballer. 
he let me keep that right there and uh, one of my customers sent me that D Wade autograph on card no less from Prism too so you know what can I say I got, I got some pretty awesome homies uh, Jason unfortunately actually I do no Sexton but I have hit a Michael Porter Jr. autograph right there Oh, you talking about Laramie Tunsil? <laughs> well, I mean, listen, if you if you want to give it to me, I'll take it. You know, but you don't have to give it to me, dude. But if you want to gift it to me, I will add it to the Hall of Fame. Speaking of Hall of Fame, Walter Berry, Spurs legendary autograph right there. Marcello, what's going on? How are you? If I said Dirk Nowitzki was the greatest European player of all time, would you guys agree or disagree with that statement? Nice. Well, thanks, Jose. Appreciate you. You don't got to do that, though, man. But thank you. Chris Paul, 2018 Rockets. Chris Paul should have been punched in the face a long time ago. You know, I could never put my finger on it, but something about him, like, I don't know, I can't, I can't, like, he just looks like a dick. Marquise Morris, 199 Wizards. Ah, well, this is true. My boy, uh, Tony Parker. French legend. But, compared to Dirk? I mean, come on. Evan Turner, 99 Blazers. What's going on, Tomas? Not much, man. Finishing up this eBay break here so we can go uh, head on over to the store and show that some love. Wow. Check this one out. Colin Sexton to 25 for the Cavaliers very nice very nice asking you shall receive Jason there you go and it's his jersey number 2 of 25 oh look there you go Jeffrey called it out too good eye Jeffrey good eye well, Jason, I appreciate you uh, buying into the breaks, buddy. Check out our website, too, man, ripcitycards.com. We offer free shipping, a $100 hitless giveaway. Check out our breaks, man, on our website, ripcitycards.com. I got way more of this hoop stuff. Yeah, the Sexton is number two of twenty-five, and he wears the number two. So that uh, that jersey number, eBay one hundred and one business, if you're into that. Donovan Mitchell, twenty eighteen, Jails. Got a random match. Come down to the last box. Dude, this thing's taking me about an hour and a half to do this. 
Oh boy. You mean hoops like the product hoops? Or are you talking basketball in general? Or you mean like this product specifically, G-Man? Uh, you talking about hoops, Michael? Yeah, I got him, Jersey Jersey man. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Need more basketball fans on our site, though, man. Most of our fans are baseball and uh, football. Negative, Michael. I do not have any loose boxes of this stuff. Oh, woo, woo, woo. Well, for Breeze, man, tell, tell your uh, your fellow Frenchmen and French women to check out RipCityCars.com. We got Pascal Siakam, 189 Raptors. This is the last box, by the way, y'all. Almost done here. And then uh, we'll continue the eBay stuff. But the next breaks are relatively quick, but definitely quick compared uh, to this. It's almost it's almost World Series time. Amir Johnson, ninety nine Sixers. Almost done, Michael. Almost done. You could have took a nice nap, you know, worked on your taxes. You know, made made the kids lunch for tomorrow. Yeah, you could you could you could have been productive while I did this. I always do recaps of the hits at the end of the break anyway, so. In case you didn't feel like sticking around through the whole thing, I don't blame you. And of course, we always record and upload our breaks to our channel, so there's also that. LeBron James, 2018 Cavaliers. But you know, why would you not want to watch, you know, with, with good old Uncle Jesse, uh, you know, taking care of things, if you will.
We have Trey Lyles to 25 Nuggets. I wonder if they have Dr. J autographs in this stuff. That would be awesome. D Wade, 2018. Heat. Heat played a night too. Not a random that. Dude, for Brees, you know what? I might, I might just send you a T-shirt once we get some, because we are getting some Rip City T-shirts. Yeah. All right, we have Hamidou Diallo of the Thunder. Who's uh, who's starting tonight, G-Man? Last night was a good game, man. Last night was a good game. Durant, 999 Warriors. Ooh, and for the Mavericks, Jason Kidd. The hot signature, very nice. Nice, G man. Should be, should be a good one. Should be a good one. That's a rookie card. Insert. What am I doing with the glare? Oh, it looks pretty good. And Mavericks did very well for themselves. They just did not hit the Luca Auto. But they got some good ones too. About to hit you with the recap here in a bit. Because I'm almost done. Jaron Jackson's going to be nice, too. Boom! We done, baby. Nah, G-Man. After this is done, I have Phoenix football. That takes, like, 20 minutes or so. Then Gold Label Baseball, that takes, like, 15 minutes. So I would say check back in, like, 45, about an hour or so. And uh, by then, I should be working on the store. I like Rafer Austin, man. Rafer, skip to my loop. There's some good autos here, man. And mind you, this is only half a case. All right, so let's recap this thing. First of all, we got to random these. Let me see if I have duplicates. I'll give one to each. Which is... Uh, I got these duplicates. Neither, None of them are numbered. But I'm going to give one to the Sixers, one to the Timberwolves here. And these are Thunder Pelicans, so I'll give one to each. And the rest will have to random... Five left to number one. A. My goal is to have that thing down to zero by the time I'm done with the eBay breaks. I don't want to have to run a filler for that. We should just straight up fill that thing. T Wolves. And that'll be Sixers. Boom. So for these, we're going to random. Very simple how I random these. Uh, yeah, 2018 Phoenix football number 8 for eBay is next. Okay, so for these, uh, very simple. I got a team on the left and a team on the right. Uh, John, I'm trying to fill some breaks on my website, my man, ripcitycards.com. 
I'm working on eBay breaks right now. I have two more eBay breaks. I got Phoenix football number eight after this. Gold label baseball number 11 after that. Then I'll be done with the eBay stuff. And then we can focus on uh, on the store. So check out the website, man, ripcitycars.com. Uh, we should have a few breaks close to filling. Uh, anyways, I got a team on the left and a team on the right. So I'm going to roll a die for this. All right. It's either going to go to the left side team or the right side team. If I get an odd number, left side team. Even number, right side team. So odd left, even right. Odd left, even right. Here we go. Boom. Odd, number five. So this one will be Spurs, Thunder, and Rockets, respectively. It's, dude, John, it's pretty much the same thing as eBay, except it's not auction-based, and there's no schedule uh, for when the break is going to happen. Uh, as soon as all teams are sold out, we break it. It's, it's, uh, it's that simple. We offer free shipping worldwide, so you don't have to pay extra for shipping. Um, and yeah, dude, you just you buy your team, and then just wait for it to fill. Alright, so there's that for the tip-off cards. And now let's recap the autos, because I know that's what you care about. Actually, before I recap the autos, the lowest number parallel we got, a Jabari Parker, one of ten for the Bulls. Even though he's in his Bucks uniform, it does go to the Bulls, as you can see there. All right. Autographs, we got Skip to Malou, Ray for Austin Rockets, Michael Porter Jr. Nuggets, uh, Hamidou Diallo Thunder, Walter Berry Spurs, Sam Bowie Blazers, Char o Charles Oakley Knicks, Melvin Frazier Magic, uh, Rodion's Kurux Nets, I'm trying to pronounce those names right, Jamal Mashburn Mavericks, Yante Mata, the 25 Heat, Detlef Shrimp uh, for the Thunder, Ishmith Pistons, Chandler Hutchinson Bulls, Jalen Brunson Mavericks, Eldon Campbell Lakers, uh, Andre Kirilenko Jazz, uh, JP Makora Hornets, there you go Marcello, that's what I'm talking about. We also have Jason Kidd, Mavericks, Colin Sexton to 25 Cavaliers, and a Trey Young for the Heat. Very nice. And that's it for the break. Thank you very much, eBay. We'll get it out to you.